Well, with a few easy steps, you can take an old, tired piece of glass and turn it into the perfect addition to your home decor. And who better to show us how to do it than the diva of do it yourself, Miss Leanne Lee from Rekindle Spaces. Hi, Welcome Michael. back, dear. Okay, Thanks. so what are we working on today? Okay, let me just ask you how many times have you gotten flowers in one of these? I have a, probably a half dozen of these at my house that uh, serve no purpose. Yeah, you don't know what to do with them. Right. So, what we're going to do today is Create a purpose for them. I love it. All right. So we're going to make some distressed glass today. Okay. And what we're going to use is the chalk recipe that I've given you in previous segments. It is on the website. All right. Uh, real quick, it's just a cup of latex paint, two and a half tablespoons of plaster of Paris. Stir it together. Easy peasy. Go All to right. town. So what I did before uh, the segment was I just rubbed it down with some rubbing alcohol. Clean. Make it yeah, clean. Yeah. Just okay. get the oil off. All you right. never know where they're what you okay. know what's on them. So then we're literally just going to paint it on. Huh. Now. Uh, it doesn't really matter how good the coat is because we're going to sand it anyway. And you really, you like, you like these vases that have some sort of like, well not a design, but some sort of... They have to have a high point on them because you've got to have something to sand off. Yeah, okay. So the more interest, the better. One good thing to, to sand is uh, Crown Royal bottles. So that might oh, be, you yeah. should probably get to work on that, <laughs> right? I have plenty of those in my house too. There okay. you go. So we're going to let this dry overnight, the entire okay. vase. If it's not enough coverage for you, go ahead and put another coat on, let it dry dry overnight again. Just enough to cover it, right? Exactly. Don't, don't glop it on. No, no, no. Okay, Just okay. cover it. Gotcha. Then we're going to get to this point. This is the same color. This is lovely. Look how decorative and this is intricate. A, this is a thrift store find So it, with a plastic top. But I would love to give you the honors of sanding this. I will sand. Okay. Just 150 grit sandpaper. And it's very easy. All you're doing is sanding off the high spots of it. To make it look distressed. Yeah, yeah, to make it look old. Another tip, you can always put one color on, sand it, then put another color oh. on, sand again, and get kind of a chippy multi-layer look. I love it. Now, yeah. how much did this cost you? This is what, like $3 uh, at the it thrift store? It was 75 store? cents. 75 cents. Yeah, there's a place uh, north of the river where I live that has on Sundays 25% off all of their thrift store finds. So it was actually a dollar, and I got it for 75 cents. <laughs> I bought all of these things actually, ever. yeah, at the at the thrift store. Look this at that. is one of my favorites. This is a, a lamp, a glass, ugly glass lamp. You've probably seen them at garage sales over and over and you again. And just gussied it up with just some paint I and know, some isn't sanding. That beautiful? Now, what's the best kind of glass? I mean, what type of glass would work best for this? It does not matter as long as it has some interest. I mean, that's the big thing. Like I said, the Crown Royal bottles. Look, just a mason jar. Anything that's got a raised finish on it. I love candlesticks. Everybody's got, remember oh, hey. these? Yeah. Yeah. Old candlesticks look great. I mean, and what's nice about it is you can use it for fall. We could then repaint these in some Christmas colors and reuse them for Christmas. Now, how are you going to recommend that somebody uses this in their home? I mean, I know it's seasonal, but where, where, where am I going to put something like this? Well, I love just little, um, you know, basically kind of like this, some books, elevated up, make little collections. Just kitsch and fun and kind of... And add some color. You know, everybody's got beige. Beige, beige, beige. Add a little bit of color. I love this sort of mint blue. <laughs> I love it a lot. Yes. So, um, you know, and one thing that I... One thing that I've done here, um, my husband will see when he sees the segment, is I've even raided his uh, toolbox, <laughs> grabbed some old washers, you know, some old keys, just put some twines and... You've made, them, you've, you've made them all aesthetically pleasing because you've added, even more aesthetically pleasing because you've added just little... Exactly, but washers. you don't have to do it. I mean, you can just, they're pretty just like they are, so... Oh, good job. All right, yeah. well, as always, Leanne was kind enough to share these step-by-step -step instructions with you. You can find them on our website, caseylive.tv, later this afternoon. I love it. Thanks, right, dear. Thank good, thanks you. for coming. All right, let's throw things over to Michelle.